These are uh, two drawings I did uh, during the... Uh, I lived in uh, Champaign-Urbana for 22 months in Illinois, where I began my college studies at Parkland Community College, now called Junior College, uh, in December 1972, when I finished up there in end of spring semester 1974, after which I transferred to Southern Illinois University at Carbondale. I used to do a lot of sketching outdoors, buildings, indoors, people at the Student Union at the U of I and uh, at the Parkland College uh, campus cafeteria, trees. Um, I drew all over the place, either with felt to pen or a pitograph. I got very proficient with a pitograph. These two were done with felt to pen. It looks like one wider tip, one narrower tip. And I was enchanted by a sculpture, uh, ceramic, I believe, might have been in a cast, by the late, great um, British naturalized American artist named Sir Jacob Epstein, who did a lot of uh, figurative sculpture, controversial also, as a sculptor, not the least of which he had uh, converted to Christianity at a certain point, which is anathema to me. Uh, as a Jewish person, um, and um, just the apostasy of that uh, is, well, it is a uh, subject for a lot of discussion. Um, and the sculpture was not at the Cranet Art Museum, if I recall, but it was at the Cranet Art Center. It was in like one of these display stands that was like up so high in a like plexiglass, um, clear. Uh, box and uh, depicted uh, Wind Godley, a British something or other, who was evidently an acquaintance or colleague, friend, what have you, of Epstein's. And um, there's the drawings. The sculpture itself can be found uh, in internet searches. I don't have a photograph of it handy. These are both dated uh, March 14th, 1974, with my initials K.S. Kenny Segan. The Akiva came along uh, in Carbondale uh, in 1976. There you have it.